So yeah, here I am. I am playing a game called Zombie Crisis. Can I use the mouse to move? I can use the mouse to move, but I cannot use the mouse to turn. That is bizarre. Okay, well anyway, um, this is a game called Zombie Crisis. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to turn that map on. That is actually built on the venerable... What? Why is my game all stupid? It won't let me turn. Okay, hold on. Moment. I have had a terrible time getting this thing to work. Um, turn left is the left arrow, not move left. Strafe is left alt. Is alt held down? Yeah, apparently alt was stuck. I, my alt key on my keyboard wasn't stuck. It must have just been a software thing. Well, anyway, um, this game is built on the venerable Duke Nukem 3D engine. Although they seem to have taken some liberties with the tile sets and everything else. Um, I have no idea what this game's about. Other, Is it supposed to be scary? or? Oh, man. Wait. I just hold down the fire button and hose him down with bullets. Blah! Okay. So... A uh, scary horror game this is not. Um, it's also kind of funny. They've, they've sort of adjusted the speed. Like The game runs at a slower pace here. Because in Duke Nukem, you could really book it. And um, this is my running speed. Is this sort of slow march. So they sort of slowed it down. I wonder if they sort of wanted... I don't know what they wanted. This is interesting. All right, well, let's press on. Shoot some more dudes. You know, that's one thing that they don't tell you when you decide you're going to make a, you know, an indie Let's Playing channel. You're going to play a lot of games where you shoot zombies, and punch zombies, and kill zombies. I mean, for real, like, I think about a third of the games I've played have been zombie-oriented in some way, shape, or form. Oh my god, they're everywhere. They are, but they are no trouble for my Infinity Bullets can gun. Oh shit. Oh my god. I can't tell when they're facing me. I can't tell when they're attacking me. They're horrible. Ah. I will have to say, I appreciate that every character has roughly 72 eyeballs inside of them. Yeah, take it. I like, kind of like the sewer design, the sewer zombie design that they have. That's pretty cool. It's weird that they're all wearing boots, though. Like, the same boots. Uh-oh. Hey, is that a healing spray? Resident Evil. He oh shit! Did I just get hit again? I've got eight health left. The hell spray kills you? Wow! I don't think that's true. That can't be right. I must have just got hit right away. I don't know. Um, that's zombie crisis. Okay, yeah, I gotta try again. I'll try one more time. One more time. That's all you're getting. What is that sound? Uh, okay. I do like the inclusion of the, the red dot sort of sight. It sort of shows me where my bullets are hosing. And they seem to have not... I don't want to say they've gotten rid of auto-aim. They seem to have limited it a little bit. Because the old Duke Nukem auto-aim was pretty crazy. Shoot stuff. Oh, I can crouch. I can jump? Yeah! Playing it like Scout from TF2. No, what game was it where you bunny hopped? It was that it was the, or like original Halo, wasn't it? Where bunny you just run around the map jumping up and down. Yeah, never mind. I apologize to all Team Fortress 2 players. I got my metaphors crossed. Blah. 
Do these zombies all just, like, eat, like, chicken before they make it there? Also, the hands that fly off of them are the wrong color. Suck it. Suck it. That is enough of this. You know, this is a kind of fun little um, zombie, uh, I don't know, maze crawl. Kind of brings me back to Doom. I mean, but it would since it's in the Duke Nukem 3D engine. Um, I bet if you get further, there's more cool guys and all kinds of stuff. Uh, kind of a pain to get running, but apparently you can use it on your modded PSP. That sounds pretty cool. Maybe it would be super fun on there. Um, anyway, give it a shot. I will post the download link below. And just for reference, we'll say 5 out of 5. Thanks.